Hey guys, welcome back to Tools on a Budget. Uh, so today I'm just uh, doing the disassembly of the Hercules um, 3 8 inch br uh, brushless impact wrench and the Milwaukee 2754, which is also a 3 8 um, inch impact wrench. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and uh, weigh the internals and see which one has a bigger hammer. Um, so stay tuned. So I went ahead and took off all the screws off camera because there was quite a few. Um, so let's go ahead and start, uh, let's take apart the Hercules first. So this one's fairly easy, you just take off the nozzle. And then it um, should come right apart. So here are the internals. Um, the mortar looks pretty similar to the Milwaukee's. Um, here, let me go ahead and open the Milwaukee so you guys can take a look at that one. Here's the Milwaukee. Uh, the, the Milwaukee motors are a lot smaller. So it shows you what kind of power they're getting out of such a small form factor. Um, I could already tell you this one's stronger than this one. Even though the torque numbers are pretty similar, in real world testing, like everyday use, I noticed this one, the Milwaukee could take out way more screws and um, bolts than the Hercules can. The other day, I, I think like two days ago, I did a 20, 2011 Accord and the Hercules couldn't take off the the brake caliper bolts so I had to go in and get this one this one was able to do it easily uh, once again I couldn't tell you why but it just it seems like real real world performance the Milwaukee is a little bit better I'm not saying they're leaps and bounds ahead of each other but I'm saying like this one was able to take off the bolts this one was struggling with it might be because the hammer is a little bit bigger but we'll, I'm not sure. We'll find out right now. As we keep disassembling, we'll we'll go ahead and weigh the parts. So let's go ahead and see. Okay. Here's the hammer and the anvil. Let's see if I can take out the Milwaukee. I'm gonna pause real quick and I'll be right back. Well, I was able to get it off, but uh, I did damage it. I didn't. I didn't realize this was a um, reverse thread, <laughs> so I, I, I kind of busted it. I mean, I'm sure it'll still work, but let's go ahead and just open to see what's in there. It's uh, pretty well lubed up. Okay, so yeah, as I expected, here's the hammer uh, compared to the Hercules one. That's probably why this one hits a lot harder out of the gate. Um, it does use a planetary gear set as well. Uh, to reduce the the motor RPM, uh, let's go ahead and weigh these. Uh, let me go get let me get the scale. All right, so let's turn it on. Let me zero it out. Okay, let's take the just the anvil. This is the Hercules. Uh, 79 grams. Let me see if I can put you in a little closer. So 79 grams for the Hercules one. Zero it out again. And the Milwaukee one is only 44 grams. Take out his ball bearing. So we're looking at 43 grams. Okay. Let's, let me wipe it down.
zero. This is the hammer mechanism. So we're looking at about 310 grams for the Hercules. Now the Milwaukee, 354. Uh, so I think that would explain why the Milwaukee hits harder out of the gate and why it appears to me why it can remove even tighter uh, bolts than the, the Hercules. Even though they, when, you, when I did the torque test, they both came out very similar. I think that that bigger hammer actually just gives it the edge over the Hercules. I mean, the thing is massive. Here's a size comparison. So as you can see, the, the Hercules is on the left and the Milwaukee is on the right. And here's the piece I broke by over tightening it. So there you guys go. Um, oh, let me, let me go ahead and show you guys different the different parts of it too. Um, Move this. So the Milwaukee uses an enclosed housing, while the um, where everything's in sealed in here. While the Hercules actually allows you to remove this, so you could service it and uh, you know regrease it. So it's more user friendly for if you like. Uh, if you're like a DIY person and you like regreasing your stuff, the Hercules is pretty good for you. Let's see. Just, uh, okay. So the, the electronics on the uh, Milwaukee look a little bit more advanced. Um, the wires look a little bit thicker gauge, as you can see. They're pretty, uh, I want to say like, mm, 18 or 16 uh, the ones down here are like 20 22 maybe 24 uh, they, they both have four speeds I believe so everything here is epoxy the circuitry is under here that's the one that controls the speed of the mortar there's your actual mortar assembly which is actually pretty tiny if you take into uh, if you compare just the size of the motors, uh, the Milwaukee comes out ahead just by sheer size comparison. The thing is tiny and it produces just as much power, if not more, than the Hercules. Uh, here's the Hercules, if you guys haven't seen it before. Um, I mean, by no means is this a bad tool. I mean, it's a great tool for the price. You, I don't think you can make a, I don't think you can get a better tool for the price for $89. This is actually an amazing tool. Um, and it's, it's comes very well greased. Uh, somebody had said that maybe they were using the Milwaukee motors. Um, it could be, uh, maybe the one that actually builds the motors for Milwaukee is building them for them too. But, uh, the size, the sizes are a little different. You know, the, these ones are a little bit, uh, bigger, a little bit larger of a profile. I'm pretty sure they're just, uh, uh, cheap Chinese clones. But I mean, overall, it's a, they're both very good tools. If you're already in the Milwaukee platform, then yeah, go ahead and get the Milwaukee. Um, and actually, they don't even sell this one anymore. They have the newer, the Gen 3 version. Uh, so if I get my hands on one of those, I'll go ahead and disassemble one of those too. But yeah, they're they're both pretty good tools. Um, I got a little, I still got to use this one a little bit more to tell you guys a, full, a better full review. Uh, the Milwaukee, I know what it can do and what it can't do. This one, I still don't know. So I'm learning as I go along. Um, but overall, um, I can recommend both of these tools uh, in a heartbeat. 
especially this one for the price at eighty nine dollars uh, half the price of the Milwaukee and it does almost 95 percent of the power so take it with a grain of salt but that's my my two cents so if you guys enjoy this type of video uh, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe and uh, don't forget guys I have a 500 uh, subscriber giveaway so go ahead and check that I'll see if I can leave a um, a link in the description so you guys can go ahead and enter that to win for a chance to win uh, this Ryobi uh, impact driver if you guys are interested in that at all um, so once again guys uh, don't forget to hit the like up and subscribe if you guys like this um, any feedback from you guys is amazing um, so go ahead and enjoy the rest of your day and I'm out thank you